for good reason, it's frequently referred to as the king of workouts. The squat is a well-known full body exercise that targets the glutes, quadriceps, and hamstrings while also subtly boosting core strength. Reliable source. It's time to master this essential movement and put an end to clumsy squats. Here are several weighted variants to try once you've learned appropriate technique, as well as how to perform a squat using only your body weight. Body weight squat. You can quickly advance to weighted squats if you master body weight squats. Just carry out these actions. 1. Stand tall. Stand with your feet slightly wider than shoulder width apart, your knees over your ankles, and your hips piled over them. 2. Correct your posture. Roll your shoulders down and away from your ears. Your lower back will experience needless strain if you let your back round, like a turtle's shell. Throughout the action, keep your spine neutral. 3. Get your arms ready. Put your hands on the floor with your palms facing down, straight out in front of you, as if you were holding someone's shoulders at a 7th grade dance. Alternatively, you can bring your elbows close to your body while keeping your palms facing each other and your thumbs pointing upward. 4. Hinge at your hips. Inhale to start the action, then free your hips and pull them back a little. Knees bending, keep thrusting hips rearward. 5. Broaden across your chest. Make sure your shoulders, chest, and back remain erect as your butt begins to protrude. For a neutral spine, keep your head forward and your gaze straight ahead. 6. Get low. The deepest squats that your range of motion will allow are the best. Your hips should stoop down till they are below your knees, if you have the flexibility to do so comfortably. 7. Explode upward. Activate your center. Explode back up to standing while driving through heels with your body weight. Without really moving your feet, imagine that they are spreading the floor, left foot to the left, right foot to the right. Squat variations with weight. Beginners should begin squatting using just their own body weight. Increase the stakes only once correct form is established. Not all of us must be like this person. You'll find it challenging to squat down further while utilizing greater weight. Know this, deep squats with lighter weight make us stronger than shallow squats with more weight. There are several methods to squat, but the goblet, back, and front squats are three of the more popular weighted varieties. 1. Goblet Squat Sadly, there is no cup of wine in this squat. Instead, place a medicine ball, kettlebell, or dumbbell at your sternum, the center of your chest. Squat down straight while keeping your knees slightly bent. In order to perform a body weight squat, reach back with your butt but do not stand up straight. Drop your elbows inside your knees while completing a goblet squat for a full range of motion. Goblet squats are excellent for both novice and expert lifters because they prevent us from hunching over. A steady stance is achieved by holding weight in front of your chest. 2. Back Squat If you've never done squats with a barbell, it's important to seek advice from a trainer because they are significantly more difficult. When you do a back squat, the weight is supported by the traps, which are the muscles on each side of your neck. The hands and elbows should be facing forward, parallel to the ground, and in the same plane as the shoulders. Along the bar, your arms will make a W shape. Follow the same technique as a body weight squat by keeping your hips back, yeah no, minus holding your arms out. Breathing is a key distinction between the back squat and the body weight squat. Inhale before lowering the barbell while performing a squat. Hold your breath during the squat and only let it out once you are back up on your feet. 3. Front Squat Getting used to the front rack position is necessary before doing the front squat. When performing a front squat with a barbell, place the weight directly on your fingertips, just above your clavicles. If your shoulders are wide enough, the ends of the bar will rest on them. Make sure your elbows are up and facing front. The triceps should be horizontal to the ground. The clavicle acts as a secure ledge for the bar, 
making it appear unstable to hold it with just your fingers. As a result, your hands are only needed to keep the bar from rolling. The bar will be held securely as long as your elbows stay up and point straight out from your shoulders. Your body will remain much more straight when you lower yourself in a front squat than it would in a body weight or back squat. To avoid angling your torso forward and making it challenging to stand the weight up, avoid reaching back with your butt, like you would with a back or body weight squat. Consider keeping your elbows up and facing forward as a fantastic method to keep yourself standing straight. Dumbbells can also be used for the front squat, see the image below. Put a dumbbell on each shoulder while holding one in each hand with the palms facing in. Finish the squat while maintaining lifted triceps and pointed elbows.